what to study what shall be the our qualification to get a good job in safety in gulf in europe in canada in us anywhere this we will be discussing in today's video so friends the first question which normally all of my uh, friends uh, our subscribers who you usually ask in our emails is what to study and how to start a career in safety so uh, today we will be going to discuss what shall be our qualification so i will recommend uh minimum plus 2 or 12th is required to start a career in safety we after 12th you can go for a graduation i will better advise you to go for a graduation and later on you can start with your safety certifications but if possible if financially you are strong you can also go for the uh, the btech and the other higher graduations in safety also but basically to start a career in safety i will recommend you to start your career with a simple graduation and after graduation you can go either for a nibosh or higher other certificates now we will be seeing the another question like what is the importance of having ios nibosh first aid which one is more important what shall we do to uh, step into the gulf or abroad countries so friends nib iosh is a very good option uh, i must say iosh was a good option but now most of the companies are preferring nibosh there was a time when most of the companies used to take the candidates by having the iosh as the certification but in recent days uh, the more co- the companies are preferring uh, nibosh over iosh because if you see nibosh is more competitive compared to iosh so i will prefer all, all of you to go for the nibosh if you wanted to get a good job in gcc or abroad so then what is the advantage of having the first aid and iosh along with nibosh so what happens if you go for an interview if along with you many other people will be there or the other candidates will be there in interview so if they have the nibosh then how the companies will select the best candidate so obviously they will go for additional certification so in that case if you have ios or the first aid with you then it will be a preference so the companies will go for the additional certifications but basically to start a good uh, career in safety i will recommend you to start with nibosh you can uh, go go for the nibosh you can take the certification and you can uh, try for the outs outside jobs so it will be very good idea to start your uh, career with safety with nibosh the another question which most of the people used to ask is is btec must for the safety i will say the btec is not must for the safety but it is recommended so where is btec useful in safety if you are working in a position of safety officer safety supervisor then btec is not a must then you will be thinking why btec is recommended because if you are if you are looking for higher positions in future if you are looking uh, forward for becoming a safety engineer the safety manager or for doing the higher uh, certifications then in that case btec must be a btec may be a preference so uh, for other positions like the safety officers and the safety supervisors in a company the btec is not a must it is not uh, necessary to have a btec to become a safety officer or safety supervisor but it is advisable uh, to have it or to do to go for the btec or the engineering if you are looking for becoming a safety engineer or the safety managers maybe in future so friends i hope uh, you like today's video in next video we will be seeing what all are the Uh, the experience level uh, required for handling different positions in safety similarly if you have any uh, queries please let me know we will be surely uh, discussing all your questions all your queries in our next video don't forget to subscribe our channel and stay tuned